Pages and credits. Here we have our timeline. We have our picture of the map of the world and then a couple of other pictures in my movie. Now I'm going to be adding a title page and this movie is going to be called World Hunger. In order to do that, I have to tell Windows Movie Maker where the title page is going to go. Just out of uh, habit, I always choose the picture where it's going to be uh, uh, interacting with. And I go over to Make Titles and Credits. And in this case, I want to have the, uh, the title at the very beginning of the movie. The other options are before the selected clip. So if I had chosen this one, it would automatically go before this clip. If I choose this, it would be the same as at the very beginning because this is the first clip. You also have title on the selected clip, which would add text on top of your graphic. Uh, as well as title after the selected clip and then titles at the end, credits at the end of the movie. So I'm going to choose title at the beginning of the movie and I'm going to say World Hunger. That's going to be the title of my movie. And if you see down here, there are other options that you can use. Uh, once you're finished, you can add the title to the movie or alternatively, you can add different animations. You might want to have the title fill with paint, for example. There are many different options here. Uh, as well as uh, fading left to right. And you can also change the color of the background and the text just by choosing this, as well as the font size. So here's the background color, it's blue. I'm going to change this to black. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a space opera theme. I'm going to choose yellow text. And I might change the font here. And then <clears throat> you can actually change the justification as well, whether it's going to be on the left, the right, or in the center. You can change, change the font size, make it smaller, make it larger. You can play around with this and see how you like it, as well as the transparency, which really only affects if it's over top of a picture or not. And change the animation you can see that there's many different options here and depending on what you pick for your uh, your choice will uh, determine the length of it. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to the beginning. We now have World of Hunger. It's approximately three seconds long. Let's give that a play test. World Hunger and then on goes the pictures. Now if I'm going to be adding text at the end of the movie, credits at the end of the film, I might give the title again, World Hunger written by, uh, and then I might have my photos, photo one courtesy of, for example, UNICEF.org, and there you go. This is how the, uh, the credits would show. You can press play here for a little preview. You can see that the credits scroll up. And you can choose different styles of credits just by clicking on the title animation and have it zoom in. World Hunger. And there's lots of different options. You can have a lot of fun playing with this. And that's it for putting uh, credits on your movie.